Now, as I just mentioned, the setup of the exercise should be considered the first rep. In order to get a new 1RM military press, we have to make sure that you are proficient in kettlebell cleans. Now, a light bell like a 16 kilo, pretty easy for me to clean into the proper position, okay? Perfect position here. I am strong and stable from here. As a kettlebell gets a little bit heavier, here's a 24 kilo. Okay, still good positioning. I feel strong here. If I grab a 32 kilo kettlebell, it's gonna require me a little bit more effort. Okay, I'm gonna think of my hips. Okay, still a pretty good position from which I'm going to press. If you are a strong first level one candidate or a strong first level two candidate, in order to pass your pressing requirements, you will need to do a one arm clean. So practice makes perfect on kettlebell cleans. It is one of the tougher movements to master in our library of exercises. But when I was performing the beast tamer practice prior to my successful attempt, it does not specify whether you need to clean it with one hand or two. A two-handed clean, I really love for heavier attempts because it makes sure that the kettlebell lands in a perfect position on the wrist so that far side of the palm is touching the far side of the kettlebell handle. Now, to perform a cheek clean, we essentially start with the kettlebell in a neutral position, okay? Not pronated, not a V or an inverted V. I'm gonna grab the handle with my working hand and wrap the non-working hand around it. What you can do here is finesse the non-working hand with the working hand to find that tight rack. Here's a demonstration on the 32 kilo. Then I press. Show you that again. So whether or not the cheat clean is right for you is going to depend completely on your preferences with kettlebell training. I took the option during my beast tamer attempt to use the cheat clean. I cheat cleaned into position, got tight, then I waited for the command before pressing overhead. When you're cheat cleaning or doing a normal clean, as the kettlebell comes up, we gotta make sure there's no preload and then press. That would forfeit the lift. It has to come from a motionless position and then a press overhead.